Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Munchkin Dungeon unboxing video. Today it's Munchkin Cthulhu. Uh, because what self-respecting game wouldn't have a Cthulhu expansion since it's a free license? Um, no, it's, um, it's fine. I love uh, weird creatures and stuff, so it's awesome. Uh, you got a little preview there of what we're going to get. So let's open this up. So... This is all came with the Kickstarter. I don't know how quick all of the side expansions are going to get released. Um, I imagine side quest, which was the one of the other videos I did, a big box expansion, will probably come out fairly quick. These other ones might not come out immediately. Um, so it's going to show just our components, our rules. It's adding madness tokens and mechanics, um, and then we have Cthulhu himself, of course. All the people on the game, playtesters. Good job, everybody. Um, so let's see what we got. We got a pile of Magnus tokens. So this might be one of the reasons why I can see some people skipping this one. Maybe you're not in uh, um, the Cthulhu or the Occult um, stuff, and that's fine. If you're not, don't, don't buy this set then. Um, if you want just more content for your, for your game, pick her up. Um, it does not include any extra characters, though. This is just monsters and loot and stuff like that. Alright, so let's see what we have. We have our threat cards, we have our monster and room cards, and we have our loot. So let's look at our loot first. It's what we've been doing, so we'll keep with this same. Alright, so we have Elder Sign. Uh, Bill Elder and Sons Bespoke Plumbing. Uh, discard this item to move a roaming monster from this expansion. Two rooms, you can move. Um, you can move monsters are currently in a fight, you're fighting melee, no penalty bonuses. So, how do you know they're from this expansion? You just have to know which characters they are. Um, they might have a symbol on some of them that show them. I think this right here by the item card kind of shows which set it's from. Um, yeah, I was trying to see if the other expansions showed off different symbols, but I don't remember. Uh, in smell the yellow pages, discard this item to go through the threat deck and add a threat to the monster in your hand. So again, like some of these can be just mixed in with anything. A prehistoric axe. The sushi knife of doom. The Muscatonic University t-shirts. These are like the good guys versus the uh, bad guys. Uh, so you have Ag One Shield Breach Madness you have. So again, this should be one that you could only use if you play in the expansion. The Tweed Jacket, you gain minus one Madness when you enter a room. Unspeakable Riches, gain eight gold, gain one Shame and one Madness. Scythe, discard this card to either gain or discard two Madness. The Neck Necronomicon. Worth one recruit one fame for every three Magnus you have. Uh, two handed flashlight. The Terminator for a good one attack for each Magnus you have. Hay fork deals one damage. Slimy armor. Elder Scouts robes. If you're in the same room as another player, you can force him to pay you one gold for exchange for a shield. Squid Skin Boots, you take one, minus one threat when you enter a room. The Black Meeple, ooh, he's like a vampire. We got another Meeple, though. Definitely here, just, just buying new, every new expansion just to get one new Meeple card in every expansion. Uh, cult Members card, membership card. Uh, two reroll game, one shame token. Backpack full of dynamite, discard it and roll a die. 
Tommy Gun, all defense rolls are with two attack. Bug Spray. If you're fighting at least one monster from the Cthulhu expansion. Flamethrower. Deal one monster deal one attack for each monster you're fighting. The Muscatonic University Letter Jacket. Each time you gain Magnus, you can either take plus one or minus one. Slime Proof Poncho. Monster player gets a reroll and Miner's Helmet. So out of all of these cards, there's only what, like five or six that actually uh, mention Magnus tokens or this Cthulhu set. So that's actually kind of cool because that means um, that means you could play. You could buy this set and you could say, I don't really like this madness mechanic. I don't like adding extra stuff. And you could still get a bunch of stuff. Now, this is where it would be a problem if you don't like that madness mechanic. Because each time you gain a threat, you also gain a madness token. I suppose you could just ignore them. Um, they have the little symbol there. So when you enter this room, add your top three cards of the threat deck to your hand. Then discard two threat cards. Uh, the Arena of Azeroth. Uh, when monster player rolls a, a die, you clear the room. You may lose or take two Magnus. Pet Cemetery. When you enter this room, threat monsters are discard. When you enter the room, take one threat monster from the discard and put it in your hand. Parallel Dimension. When you enter this room, roll a die, take damage, gain two loot. Or gain two gold or gain one loot. Crypts of the Ain's Mouth. When you enter this room, a monster player may play any threat monster card for free. If you clear the room, gain one gold for each threat played. And now we're going to get some. So only one of those even required something with the Magnus. The rest of them. You probably just ignore that Magnus symbol if you really wanted to. Um, we have Migo. That's an interesting brain you've got there. Take one more damage. If you take one more damage, it carries you back to the dungeon entrance. Oh boy. So there is our level two uh, Migo. Interesting. We have the uh, Nighty Knight. Um like a monster with a nighty on. It's way past your bedtime. If this game is played after sunset, it gets plus two attack. I love that. Um, let's see what that guy looks like. He's got no face. That's creepy. Um, so a level three monster. Uh, gnarly, gnarly Thopter. Gnarly Thotep. Well, dude, this dungeon is lit. Before fighting in the monster, reveals the top card of the threat deck and plays it for free. Oh, boy. So there's him. Oh, boy. He even looks scarier in 3D. And he's got a third leg. He's got the two and he's got the middle one. All right, and then we have Frogoth. Rivet, you cannot defeat. If you cannot defeat Frogoth, you're defeated. There is a Frogoth. Eyeball on his tongue, eyeball on his knees. Eyeball for a tail, apparently. Gets a little bit bigger. And then we have our boss. We have the Great Cthulhu. Grr, wrong number. Who's calling? Um, adds two attack. If he rolls a lightning bolt, the hero is defeated. So three to five. He comes to four to six and does some more damage. And then this one, he just has incomprehensible text. Oh, he's 
Girl, wrong number again. Who keeps calling me? And then he just gets that. He's a 5'7. He's about as big as the plutonium dragon. And then, oh my god, look at how big she is. Rawr. I wish she was like a green color though, just straight up. But I mean, even like, look, compared to that frog, that frog looks pretty huge. That's how big he is. And then if we compare him to like a little Migoth, which is about the size of uh, a munchkin, that's how big the bosses are. I love that the bosses are so huge. Alright, let's look at our threat cards. Uh, Tack is off. When you fight Tack is off, gain one Magnus. Uh, Puppies of Tingalos. You cannot defeat Puppies, destroy one of loot by the monster player. Another dog pile. So we got one in the last expansion, too. Uh, Drag Dock to Snarkum, Isolum. If you have five more magnets, you're immediately moved to the dungeon entrance and the spider is cancelled, otherwise gain two. More wandering monster cards. Curse, Amnesia. We haven't seen any curses yet. Uh, I discard two magnets to put this on top of your hero dashboard, covering hero parts. Discard this when you gain a level. Fog off. When you defeat Fog off, uh, I keep it as a loot. As long as I have it in my loot, I can equip one extra item weapon. Ooh, that's nice. Shogoth. You can't defeat Shogoth and you're defeated. Game 1 Magnus. The stars are right. The hype you need humans. Uh, I move the Great Cthulhu to your room. It fights you and then returns to clear. Even if you beat it, don't take a reward. Darker Ritual. So we had some more of them. The Darkest Ritual. Add three threat tokens to the pool. I can immediately play two threat cards. Oh boy. Uh, a cultist. If you don't defeat the cultist, gain one Magnus. A bunch of cultists. Um, ten sand points per axle. Ten sand points. Ten sand? Uh, curse! Magnus takes its toll. If you have any Magnus, take one damage. Corrupted by power, both you and I gain one loot, you gain one shame token too. Uh, yeah, so some definitely interesting things. Overall, it's about 75% uh, brand new stuff. Uh, or stuff that doesn't require the Cthulhu expansion or Magnus. Um, or could be ignored. The 25% does. So I think it'd be fun. It's just one extra little token to keep track of. I think with everything there is. Although that being said. There are two other expansions. That also Plus if you had side quests. That add that. There's just more and more and more stuff added on. So it could. It could make the game a little bit longer. Especially if you add. Side quest expansions. And the uh. Other two expansions and any future ones and Kickstarter stuff. Um, you're going to be coming up with the Magnus stuff less and less. So then it's just kind of like occasionally it's an extra token. So how you add that, you know, if you only add in just the one set, great. If you add in all of it, just eh, less and less. It's fine. So you could just pull up a couple of cards, add the other ones in for your base stack. You know, it would be just fine. Uh, so check you guys later. Bye.